it is, you may not be jealous of where I'm sitting when you find out what I'm going to do in a few minutes, but you might be jealous who I'm sitting with. Extremely handsome, Brazilian drifting driver Dado is going to show me the uh, the nuts and bolts of drifting. That's coming up live from IRP. It's the 12th annual Toyo Tires Important Truck Bash. More coming up with Fox 59 Morning News continues. already been to the state fair looking for maybe another weekend activity you might want to consider the import and truck bash that's where tracy is this morning having maybe too much fun tracy i have helmet hair angela and that's okay today it's it's for a very good reason we're about to do some drifting uh, drift balance here to talk a little bit about that it's a sport that's really sort of taking over and it's, it's kind of a showcase at the truck bash this year isn't it in fact, it is. It's a showcase of style and uh, performance and car control. And it actually was born in Japan as racers tried to handle the winding mountain roads a little bit faster. And they were m actually mimicking the rally drivers by getting the car sideways. And now we've created it in the form of a judge sport. Okay, we got a couple of guys actually doing it right now. And it's not really, it isn't about speed, isn't it? It's about rubber, smoke, what else? You're exactly right. Holding the car sideways is probably one of the biggest things. It's one of the biggest challenges of drifting is to put the powered back end of the vehicle out to the side. And you can see the nice red Nissan 240SX of Zach Hendricks doing a good job of that, using a lot of horsepower to hold the back end out under control. Now, uh, it, you said it came from Japan, so imports are a big part of this, but Cadillac has gotten involved, and Dedo here is a driver for Cadillac. It's a sport that's primarily come from Japan with import vehicles. What's the advantages for you to, to be in a, in a Cadillac? Well, the main thing now that Drift is coming to the U.S., we've got to market American cars as well, not just Japanese cars. So more Cadillac came out with the Drift car. We'll be competing next season, a full season of Formula D in the professional series. All right, I've heard a lot of talk about what this Cadillac can do. We're going to see it firsthand right now. Griff's going to tell us exactly what's going on while I scream for my life. Take it away, Dedo. All right, with that, we're going to fire up about 400 horsepower coming out of Detroit. This actually started out as a Brake, which locks up the back wheels only, but here we're only using the throttle. So, uh, Dotto coming out of Rio de Janeiro actually is one of the more dramatic and talented drifters, able to drift the car in a very unconventional manner without a side brake, without a, uh, a, a rear wheel brake, if you will. What we're doing now is showing you a technique called chokidori, and basically, if you uh, know what a side wave is, it's basically a seesaw motion. As they travel pretty much in a straight line, but that's augmented by sawing the machine back and forth side to side. You can see that Dotto is very good at holding the back end out. That's what the judges are looking for. <laughs> Another thing in competition that the judges look for is accuracy. The ability to actually put the car on very specific points that we call clipping points. Now, if you know road racing, like if you went to IMS for Formula One, you know that racers are looking for the apex. That's going to be the inside part of the corner. Just take another one. <laughs> How do you feel? How do you feel? Look how it smells. You know, yeah. I mean, that rubber burning, you gotta yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Wow. We hope you guys have a great day. We are hopefully gonna see you tomorrow. Please join us. Who knows what we'll be doing. Or Wear crazy. your seatbelt. He's got the helmet on. Revved up. Looking for adventure. And whatever comes our way.